She was suffering. I know that, Lyman. I know that. It was all just a bit too stark for me. I felt like that dog was part of me or something. But I can't think of you out there every night with all of that, so um, I have something for you. Going away present? Ivy Campbell, daughter of Jack Campbell from the 1930 census. There's no phone number, but there's an address. If you just stay, we... I've never been able to stay. Maybe I don't want to believe what you believe. Maybe I don't want to know what you know. I have to leave. I knew you couldn't take it. So you're trying to sabotage us? Is that why you let me go with you? Well, I'm not the one running away. You'll never get anywhere in this piece of tin. You got romance novels for auto sets. Your right backup light is out. Your tire treads are shot. You need an engine overhaul. God only knows what condition your brakes are in. If you head out on the highway without knowing where the jack is, you'll end up stranded in the middle of the desert or on top of some mountain or... Yes, Lyman. But people like you, and they are few and far between, they always seem to show up. Goodbye. I'm sorry to drop by like this. Does Ivy Campbell live here? I don't want any insurance. I'm gonna die whether I got it or not. I'm here about this parrot. I believe your father owned him? Mr. Roosevelt? But how could that be? I gave him away in the 50s to a woman named Emma Cowan. She'd lost a baby. So I gave her Mr. Roosevelt to keep her spirits up. She had him until she had her next child. Then she gave him to a slow fella. My call. Yes. I lost track from there. He still says your phone number from when you lived on Summit Drive. In May 17? That was her phone number? He's got a better memory than I do. <laughs> <sighs> Whose bird was he? My father's. He was killed in the war. Was he a religious man? I don't think so. Mother gave him a Bible before he left. Father said he might not read it, but he would keep it in his breast pocket to protect him from a well-aimed bullet. What he worshipped was his country. Then who taught him the Bible verse, a bird of the air shall carry the word? Why, he came to us saying that. Do you know where your father got him? Mother said that he bought Mr. Roosevelt from a band of gypsies that were passing through. What does it matter, Mr. Lyman? I've gone as far as I can go. I don't know where to go next. You go forward, Mr. Lyman. Forward. We met at the beginning and the end of long lives. Goodbye, Mr. Roosevelt. Oh.
I woke up and, and the heat had gone down. I forgot to refill the propane tank. It's all my fault. He's a tropical bird. He couldn't stand the freeze. Just, just be prepared, Lyman. He's an old bird. This might be his time. Hello. Lyman, I know you're taking some time off, but there's been a black ice pile up on the West Street Bridge. Fiona was one of the people involved. Move! Get out of the way! himself get too close to five dog, that's all. Stay tuned. You are one lucky parent. <laughs> 